Mr. Ambassador, from where I sit, I see a more cohesive Europe because of some forcing mechanisms, uh, principally the U.S. presidential election, of course, uh, the United Kingdom's decision to leave Europe. How much of that burden falls upon Germany to keep Europe together? Well, we are a leading country in Europe. We are um, a leading economic power, and we have a re leadership responsibility politically. And after this um, election result in France with a new promising French president, I think this is the time to reinvigorate the dynamism of the European Union. We are ready to lead together with France, of course, always taking along everybody in the European Union. But we will push for reform, and uh, we will focus on the core business. Uh, we will um, take Europe further together with France. I think that's a great opportunity that we have now. How much of your job now is to make the case for the kind of liberalism that the German Chancellor has, has championed in Washington, in this changed Washington? Is that part of your mandate now? Of course, uh, we uh, want to make our case. We are concerned that this uh, liberal um, rule-based international trade order is somewhat being called into question. Uh, we um, observe certain tendencies to uh, indulge into in protectionist uh, measures, you know, invoking mm. national security interests to curb um, steel and aluminium uh, exports by other countries. Uh, that is uh, the wrong path um, as far as we are concerned. We are mindful uh, that this could be a triggering a kind of a mm. spiral of tit-for-tat retaliation, you know, eventually in the worst case, uh, lead us to a trade war. I think that's the wrong path. Our country thinks that uh, free and fair reciprocal trade has been a recipe for prosperity and eventually stability in our parts of the world. So we want to maintain and further develop that order. And that's part of my mission statement, if you will. Uh, very quickly here, I spoke with uh, your counterpart from France, Gerard Herod, the, the ambassador to the U.S. from France, and he said a real difficulty now is not knowing who to turn to in Washington, D.C. There are offices that haven't been filled, positions that haven't had nominees yet for them. Uh, is that a challenge for you as well? Do you find it difficult to navigate Washington under this new administration? Well, we have excellent access. We can't complain about access in Washington. The White House yeah. is generous with access. The State Department is, uh, the, all the other major departments are. And But that's true. There, there is um, still, I think, a, um, getting used to of this administration mm. to the realities of, of, of governing. Uh, and we hope uh, it, it's going to clarify over time.